Hello dear students, I welcome you all in the quick solutions of the All India Cast Test Series Medical 2020. We would be discussing the test number 4 for the RM batch, specifically the code ENF. Dear students, this test was conducted on 12th of January 2020. Let us proceed to the first question of the test. The first question says, the mean free path of molecules of a gas at a given pressure is directly proportional to First, absolute temperature of the gas. Second, square root of the volume of gas. Third, square of absolute temperature of gas or the fourth option which says square root of absolute temperature of gas. Dear students, the mean free path which is represented by the symbol lambda is equal to 1 by root 2 pi d square n where d is the dimension of the molecule or the particle and n is the number density. Using the idle gas equation, we can write down that P is equal to n by V into KBT, where n is the total number of particles, V is the volume, KB is the Boltzmann constant and T is the absolute temperature. Dear students, here n by V can be replaced by the variable small n, which is the number density, and n can be written as P by kbt. On substituting this value of n in this expression, we can write lambda to be equal to 1 by root 2 pi d square p and kbt comes in the numerator. Therefore, we can see that lambda here is proportional to the absolute temperature of the gas, which means that for this question, the correct answer is option number 1. Now, let us proceed to the second question. The second question says, the equation of state for 20 gram of nitrogen gas is. Dear students, the idle gas equation of state PV is equal to NRT, where P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles, R is the universal gas constant, and T is the absolute temperature. We can find out the number of moles from the formula that it will be equal to the mass of gas divided by the molar mass that is the mass of one mole of gas for nitrogen the molar mass is 28 and hence we can write down n to be equal to 20 by 28 and dear students this would be equal to 5 by 7 on substituting the value of n in this expression we can write down that pv would be equal to 5 by 7 rt which means that the correct answer for this particular question is option number 3. Now let us discuss the question number 3. Question number 3 says, if a mixture of equal mass of nitrogen and oxygen are mixed in a container in thermal equilibrium, then the gases have same. First root mean square speed of gas molecules, second internal energy, third number of molecules, or fourth internal energy per mole. Dear students, let us check each option individually. For the first option, the root mean square speed of the gas molecule, that is VRMS, has a value of under root 3 RT by M. It is given that the gases are in thermal equilibrium, which means that the temperature for N2 would be equal to temperature of oxygen gas. However, dear students, the capital M, that is the molar mass, would be different for both gases, which means that the VRMS the, or the root mean square speed of gas molecules would be different for these gases. Therefore, option number 1 is not the answer. Now let us check the option number 2. Option number 2 talks of internal energy. Internal energy can be written as n into f by 2 into rt, where n is the number of moles. This can be written as mass of the gas by molar mass into f by 2 into rt. Now dear students, since n2 and o2 both are diatomic, f is equal for both of them and it will be equal to 5. However, the value of capital M that is molar mass would be different for both these gases and hence internal energy is not same. Now let us check option number 3. Option number 3 talks of the number of molecules. Dear students, the number of molecules capital N can be calculated as the mass of gas divided by molar mass multiplied by the Avogadro's number. However, again we can say that since the molar mass is different for both the gases, the number of molecules would be different as well. Therefore, option number 3 is also not an answer. 
Now let us check option number 4. Option number 4 talks of internal energy per mole. Now dear students, we have to find out internal energy per mole and it will be equal to F by 2 RT. Now dear students, since both the gases are diatomic, therefore degree of freedom is same for both the gases and since then in thermal equilibrium, the temperature is same as well. Which means that the internal energy per mole for gases O2 and N2 in this particular case would be same. Which means that option number 4 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 4. Question number 4 says, according to kinetic theory of gases at absolute zero temperature, first option hydrogen gas freezes, second option water freezes, third option kinetic energy of gas molecules is zero, fourth option energy of gases is zero. Dear students, the kinetic energy of the gas per molecule per degree of freedom can be written as half into kb into t that is the kinetic energy is a direct function of temperature and this is absolute temperature therefore when the absolute temperature becomes zero the kinetic energy becomes zero as well which means that the correct answer for this question is option number three now let us proceed to the question number five question number five says if the degree of freedom for an ideal gas is f then the value of molar specific heat at constant pressure is. Dear students, the molar specific heat at constant volume can be written as F by 2 into R. We must also know that Cp minus Cv is equal to R, which means that Cp is equal to Cv plus R. On substituting the value of Cv in this expression, we can write down that Cp would be equal to F by 2 R plus R which is equal to 1 plus F by 2 into R, which means that the option number 2 for this question is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 6. 